Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on how I make my thumbnails for Matt Drones On. Uh, one thing I'm learning about YouTube is that thumbnails are important. I never really thought that they were before. Kind of like when I was younger and I thought texting would never catch on. What a fool I was. So, uh, I'm going to screen record some stuff that I've been doing and I'm working on a fireworks video. So, okay, cool. So, YouTube will create randomly generated thumbnails as you enter in your information. So you've got your title, description, kind of what was happening in the video, and then the suggested thumbnail. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down here, and you've got upload thumbnail, and then three randomly generated ones. I actually forgot to take like a nice picture of it. So I actually really like the one that YouTube selected. So I will um, use that as a basis there. So what I did was I used Screenshot. It's a free app that everybody has on their Mac. If you have a Mac, cool. If you have a PC, I'm sure there's some equivalent. Uh, so there's that. And I screenshotted an image, which from the video. Files not image. did here is I brought the video it's using two monitors so it's fighting me a little bit made the video full screen let it play and then I just went through and scrub through until I found kind of a cool shot that I wanted this is kind of the one that uh, YouTube recommended, which I thought was pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So I would take a screenshot of that using the screenshot free app or free built-in app on your Mac. Once I got that, I would just go ahead and close this out. Move this file over to my other desktop there. And so once I had my thumbnail created, I'll open up Canva, log in, so I can access my previous work. I don't really auto populates. I don't know why it's taking so long. I think my computer's a little bit nervous that people are watching it perform. Originally, I was leery of using like a Safari website to build everything. So I thought I would like an app or something that's more dedicated, but it actually works incredible. So I will type in YouTube thumbnail. You can also do YouTube channel art and all those things. That was not my picture. That is a randomly generated picture. Uh, you've got a blank template here. You get on to uploads. Upload an image or video. Let me find my screenshot here. I believe this is it. Yep, this is the one. So I choose. I like this. This is somewhat calming for some reason. Interesting way to show an upload. Okay, so now it's uploaded. Click on it. We're going to stretch this. So, like I said, I prefer to have a still image instead of just taking a screenshot from the video. It's a lot more crisp, but my new motto is it's better to be published than perfect. So just get over it. So I've got this here. I'm gonna do a text box. I usually just use this square gray. Click up here to change the color. Could almost just use white lettering because it's already so dark, but yeah, let's do that. 
Let's just use text, that would be cool. Text that I really like, it seems like it's different every time in the bunch, but it is, wow, so many. I think they rotate new ones in. Here it is, cold, smooth, and tasty. Not sure what that means, must be food related. I don't want to recall this. I don't try to be quick, clickbait too much. I just did that with my drone video when I crashed my drone uh, when I first started. But uh, let's call it, oops, I did caps lock. Caps lock might not be too bad. Let's try fireworks. And sunset. It's kind of cool. This fit here. Shrink it down. Maybe a little bit smaller there. Okay. Uh, it's pretty good. Not, it's not done yet though. funny when you work with text words look so much more weird when you stare at it after a while so that looks pretty good I like how it's framed I'm not blocking the sunset I'm not blocking any of the explosion here got some nice colors here and there it's pretty good uh, then what I'll do is I will make it full screen kind of take it in and this is not good uh, because it's a screenshot from a video but it would be much smaller which will be a little bit forgiving. Do that. Um, I also will add, I always like to do, that's a good size, let's just do that. That makes total sense. It's YouTube for branding content. People know it's a video. They're gonna find it on YouTube, but if I ever wanna share it out, it's instantly recognizable. And last but not least, shameless plug. Boom, there we go. Once again, perfect size, right in the middle. And let's go down here. Mm. Maybe bring it up a little bit. Or square it off. Do it. Okay. So it's probably gonna look pretty pixelated, but let's do the full size. And I'm only sharing portions of my screen so what you're seeing is just this stuff's cut off but trust me it is not cut off on my view it'll look like this everything will be in the shot I think it's pretty good and then some other little touches that I like to do is let's see normally I bring up saturation a little bit to warm it up um, makes it pop a little bit it also makes it look way fuzzier so at times you can lower the blur to make it a little bit crispier Yeah, I know guys, I'm not loving this um, at this image, especially at this size. You know, the, the text looks great, it really pops, it's really sharp, but I know, it's not ideal. Luckily, it'll be a very small YouTube thumbnail. Okay, uh, they have lots of cool filters and effects and things like that you can download for free. Retro, color mix, glitch, liquify, pixelate, screen, slice, duotone interesting things. So I'm happy with that. It looks centered. Let it download. It's going to be a PNG. Download. Preparing your design. Almost done. Maybe it will automatically open up the image on the other monitor for me here. So I will close out of Canva. It's nice when you log in and you create an account, it will remember your other work. Click on upload a thumbnail, fireworks and sunset. Got the branding, got the YouTube for instant recognizability. I don't know if that's a word, it is now. And uh, helps it stand out. And so then we go through and populate the other content on, we'll do some tags on it, we'll do the location uh, and what kind of genre this is. It is Memorial Day weekend at the time that I'm 
recording this. Um, so, I'm not sure. Let's just do uh, people and blogs for now. And I'll populate everything else later. But uh, yeah, so that's it. That's how I do it. I would love to hear how you guys create thumbnails. Post in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching.